Good day, folks. Welcome back to the channel. That's a bus. We've owned this bus for two years. Did you want to pawn it or sell it? Wanted to sell it. You like it? Well, you know me. Like Come on. Come on. I say no. I like it. So what do you guys think? How much do you want for this thing? 20500 for this. Is there any negotiation? Let's start at 15000 I knew I was going to make a deal. Six grand ain't going to buy it. Six grand ain't going to buy it. Seven grand ain't going to buy it. Seven grand ain't going to buy it. Wait. Wait, you do know when you do that, you run the risk of him saying yes. For 8,000, I'll do it. Good day, folks. Today, we will show you jackpots on Hardcore Pond. What is it? Skull of an elephant. It's very unusual. It came from Africa? Yeah, right. Dude, nobody has ever brought in an elephant skull, yeah. ever. How much do you want for something like this? About 18 out of it. You know, I mean, we're not really in the elephant skull right. retail business. So what would you take for it? Probably about 15 would be the lowest I'd do on it. How about 500? No. Nope. How about 12? How about 5? 1,000. That's as low as I'm gonna go. Let me talk to my elephant expert. Gems and jewels. A lot of things came into the shop, but what this guy brought really threw me off my chair. Well, I've got a few gemstones you might wanna take a look at. This was my wife's collection. She collected them for about 10 years, and then she passed away in 2008. I gotta tell you, it is quite a collection. What price works for you? 4,000. Um, would 2,000 help you out at all? You have to think it over, I guess. What number would make it be that you didn't have to go anywhere else? I'd say at least 3,500. How about we split it? and go 2700 Seven. I offered like 26 for all the times. We wouldn't even be able to get 1500 for that merchandise. It was seriously a bad situation that my sister was in. Seth overhears this conversation and intervenes and makes an offer for $900 for just a few emeralds and gold. This guy was ready to leave. Les just had to step in. So I'm gonna make you an offer for the emeralds and the gold, 900 bucks. Okay, we'll go to the next spot, I guess. How about 950? 900, and that's a deal. All right, I guess you can pay this. Deal. Thanks. Don't put it away. Wait, 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 wait. I can give you another five fifty for everything. She'd already said twenty seven fifty. You said twenty seven fifty? How'd you figure that? She went way off the wall when she was offering you twenty six hundred. If you want to sell it all, I'll pay you nine hundred more. Make it eighteen hundred altogether. In my whole lifetime, I'll never sell all this stuff. All right. All right. Let's go. It. Thank you so much. He offered one thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. I still think that's a little low balled, but profit is profit. Dollhouse. Some jackpot deals are not for profit. They're for family. This couple of ladies brings in an amazing custom-made dollhouse. My husband bought it for me as a wedding gift. We built it together. It's quite a dollhouse. The whole front opens up. The lights turn on. How much you want? I want 5,000. Yeah, I've really never seen anything like never it. never either. And I can see you put a lot of work in it. Les offered $2,000 out of his own money to give this up to his granddaughter. At the end of the day, they got an amazing deal. 1500 This is the, also the deal. Kristen usually takes her kids to Disney every okay. year. And I said, if you can sell the house, I'll pay and we'll take all our kids to Disney. I, what's I the least you would take for it? I'd like three if I can't get five. I'll go 2000 and believe me, I've never done that ever, never. ever. Here's what I'm really thinking. It's not going to be for sale. She has a daughter. This will be <laughs> hers. I'll go 2000 Sold for $2,000. we are going to Disney. <laughs> going to Disney. <laughs> Party bus. Jackpot deals come in all shapes and sizes, and this time it was something huge. This guy brought in a 1989 bus converted into a party on wheels. That's a bus. This is a 1989 Neo plan, which we've converted over to a party bus. We've owned this bus for two years. Did you want to pawn it or sell it? Wanted to sell it. You like it? Well, you know me. Come on. Come on. I say no. I like it. So what do you guys think? This guy might have been the worst negotiator ever. He went from $20,000 to $15,000 without much word. How much do you want for this thing? $20,500 for this. Is there any negotiation? Let's start at $15,000. I knew I was going to make a deal. Six grand ain't going to buy it. Six grand ain't going to buy it. Seven grand ain't going to buy it. Seven grand ain't going to buy it. We appreciate it. Jeez. Thank you so much. Thank I mean, it's cool if there was something I could do. It's too much work to sell is what I'm saying. Wait. Wait, you do know when you do that, you run the risk of him saying yes. For 8,000, I'll do it. 8,000! Bring it! Sign the check, let's go! <laughs> knew it! I had to have it. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do with it, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. Antique Eagle. Les got a call from a friend who buys storage units. Even though they never leave the store, Les got a good feeling about this and decided to check it out. Hey Tim, how you doing? Tim said that there's some really cool things in this storage facility. Just won this unit in auction the other day. You get it for? $2,100. All right, so let's take a look. No, I saw a nasty ass couch, boxes filled with some old clothes. I don't think I'm gonna make an offer on this one. No, I see this 
Eagle. Les spots an antique Eagle that could be worth $15,000. Les started negotiating for it and offered $6,000, and the guy took it. Wow, what about this Eagle? Well, I know that this Eagle is a limited edition show piece. It's probably worth 15 grand. Well, what are you thinking on the 3,500? Seven grand. 5,000. 6,500. 6,000, we got a deal. 6,100. You only paid 2,100. This is your payday to heaven. All right, all right, 6,000. All right, fine, got you got a deal. They've only made 75 of these. I paid six grand, we're gonna make a profit on it. Done deal. Right. Elephant skull. Something I didn't expect to see here is the skull of an elephant. Nobody has brought anything like this before. This guy was hoping to get $1,800 for it. What is it? Skull of an elephant. It's very unusual. My best friend had it, passed away, and I inherited this one. It came from Africa? Yeah, right. Two, nobody has ever brought in an elephant skull, yeah. ever. How much do you want for something like this? About 18 out of it. You know, I mean, we're not really in the elephant skull right. retail business. So what would you take for it? Probably about 15 would be the lowest I'd do it. Seth went on the internet and found out that they're worth the money if they get it for the right price. Les put his negotiating skills to it and was able to bring it down to $700. How about 500? No. Nope. How about 12? How about 5,000? That's as low as I'm gonna go. Let me talk to my elephant expert. Africans are more expensive than the Asian ones. Africans are buying now for 2,300 and the Asians are 1,900. So 600. Bottom line for me would be $800 and that's it. You're at 800, I'm at 600. Are you buying it just to buy it, or are you buying it to sell it? Buying it to buy it. I will have, who's going to sell it? I'll go six fifty, cash money, right now. Eight hundred. Can't do eight hundred. Seven hundred. Seven fifty. Seven hundred. <laughs> I'll give it to you for seven. You got a deal. <laughs> Thank you very much. They'll be able to sell this between nineteen hundred and twenty-three hundred dollars. That's the definition of a great deal. Saddam Hussein's signature. This guy brings in something that belonged to his great grandfather, who had something to do with the government in Iraq. This is Iraqi money and a document signed by Saddam Hussein himself. It was my great grandfather. He had something to do with the government over in Iraq. This document here shows that they certified it. I have never seen anything like that. I'm How much did you want for it? 15 or two grand, something like that. How did you come up with a number that high? There's not any kind of government left over there. It has to be worth something. Les decided to offer $520 and this guy went for it. Even though I think it's a little low, it's a very cool piece of history and a great deal. All right, look, give me a minute. Saddam Hussein. No way. How much they want? 1500 This is this for 900 What would you actually take for it? Like 1100 is what I like to see out of it. How about 400 Did you do eight? I mean, I'm going to really pay you 520 bucks. 520 Gotcha. Got Thank any? you very much. Man, I love Detroit. I think it was a good deal. I think you overpaid. This document is a piece of history, and now we have it. So he can go f himself? I thought it was a great deal. Stripper pole. A couple came into the shop looking to sell a stripper pole. Even though Les was a bit skeptical that it would sell and Seth was no help this time, I still think that this is an amazing deal. A stripper pole. All right. Interesting. Homemade? Yeah. What are you guys looking to do with this? Sell it. And how much are you looking for? 300. I brought her to show you how it's sturdy yeah, it is. I've <laughs> I'll go 150. You're dancing? I'm not. Are you interested? You can sell it. it. Really? Yeah. You want 190? All right. All right. Come on over here. Let's do it. I am so certain that this pole is going to sell. I'll bet you 20 bucks. 20 bucks? You're on. They wanted $300, but Les was able to bring it down to $190. Ashley even bet $25 they'll be able to sell this immediately, and I think she's right. Jägermeister alcoholic beverage machine. This guy brought a Jägermeister and alcoholic beverage machine, and he wants $150 for it. What do we have? The Jäger Jägermeister ice cold shot machine. Why sell it or get a loan on it? I'd like to sell it. I can pay my uh, water bill. How much are you looking for? 150, 200 bucks. Any way we can test it out? Yeah. Only one bottle. You can do up to three. They were like 800 new. How about 80 bucks? I wouldn't even know that. Yeah. How about 50? No. I say no. Appreciate it, Brian. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Worth it. For 80 bucks? Who cares? You're going to sell it for 100 bucks. If people see that, they would buy it. Bring him back in. See if he'll take 70. Go work it out with him. Hey, Joe, if he's in the parking lot, go grab him. You saw the resistance I was getting. So, 70 bucks. Yeah, I'd probably give him 70. Cool. Meet me at that window, and I'll right. take. Take care of you. They'd already let the guy go, but Seth insisted and Les called the guy in again. Sometimes you have to take a risk. Seth offered $70 for it and they closed the deal. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Share this video to your family and friends and we'll see you soon.